2018 has begun, and our White Horse Media staff want to wish all of our viewers and supporters a blessed new year. As usual, on the night of December 31, 2017, millions around the world gathered to wildly celebrate the beginning of 2018. Yet most are completely unaware and ignorant that heaven's clock is ticking, that we are now living in the last days of fallen human history, and that Jesus Christ, the King of kings and Lord of lords, is soon to return in the clouds of heaven with a royal army of holy angels. The last book of the Holy Bible, which is the book of Revelation, chapter 11, verse 15, says that the seventh angel sounded, and there were loud voices in heaven, saying, The kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. While well, faith in God's book is decreasing worldwide and pseudoscientific skepticism is growing, especially on college and university campuses, God still has a remnant people who believe in his book, who believe in his word. In Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 12, God says, I am ready to perform my word. In Matthew chapter 24, verse 35, Jesus himself said, heaven and earth will pass away but my words will never pass away. Believe it or not, the top story in 2017 is sexual immorality among some of America's top news anchors, politicians, and TV celebrities. On January 2nd, 2018, townhall.com, which is a leading source for conservative news and political commentary and analysis, released a story entitled, 2017, the year of sex scandals. I'll read a little bit from this story. 2017 may go down as the year that sex scandals rocked America. But one thing troubles me, and that is that Hollywood and culture do so much to promote an immoral sexual ethic. Pop music and movies and TV routinely promote sex outside of God-given marital boundaries. Then, when someone engages in these activities, especially if they want to run for office, they are besmirched by this. I think what we are seeing, in some ways, is a playboy ethic, but Puritan consequences. We are constantly bombarded with messages to do whatever feels good. Then, if somebody does it, he suddenly faces censure. The pop culture revels in sexual immorality, how true this is. In one of her songs, Madonna croons, if it's against the law, arrest me. If you can handle it, undress me. Not to be outdone, Lady Gaga sings, but I got a reason. You're who should take me home tonight. I need a man that makes it right when it's so wrong. <clears throat> In spite of Lady Gaga's sleazy song, in this year, 2018, the God of heaven is searching. His eyes are going to and fro in the earth, searching for those who are willing to reject what is wrong and to do and to stand up for what is right. Will we be among that group that God is looking for? I hope so. Revelation chapter 21, verse eight, describes what will be the ultimate fate of those who shamelessly continue promoting today's loose moral standards. The Bible says, but the cowardly, the unbelieving, the abominable, murderers, the sexually immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the lake, which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. This is a warning we should all take seriously. As we begin 2018, one of the biggest developing stories right now is the growing massive protest movement in Iran against an unpopular, cruel, freedom-denying, terrorist-sponsoring, theocratic, hardline Muslim government. Today is the sixth straight day of protests from the Iranian people in cities across the country. Why are the Iranians protesting? The bottom line is that the reason is because they're tired of corruption, they're tired of economic woes, and their lack of freedom. We should be praying for the people of Iran. 
If there is a re regime change, this could open many doors for the Iranian people to find true freedom and to hear the good news of Jesus Christ. Make no mistake about it, God loves the people of Iran. They need freedom. They need the Prince of Peace who said in John chapter 3, verse 16, his famous sentence, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Another interesting news item was released on Friday, December 29, by Metro, which is a British news source. And the article was entitled, Planet Earth survives nail-biting near-miss with bus-sized asteroid. Listen to this. Humanity has survived yet another cosmic close encounter with a huge asteroid. A space rock the size of a double-decker bus zoomed past Earth and the Moon at a distance of just 139,433,000 1, miles, which is close enough for astronomers to consider it a near miss. The asteroid is called 2017 YZ4. It was never really threatening to wipe out our species and it was only about 15 meters wide, which is not quite large enough to cause damage on a global scale. However, you wouldn't want to be standing by as YZ4 smashed into the Earth. It's comparable to the size of an object that exploded in the sky over the Russian town of Sher Sheryabinsk, generating a flash of light as bright as the sun and producing a shock wave which shattered windows across the city and left more than 1,000 people injured. The newly discovered asteroid was only spotted on Christmas Day in 2017 before speeding past Earth at 21,000 miles per hour on December 28. If it was on a collision course with our planet, and if it was big enough to cause serious damage, this late discovery would not have left governments enough time to evacuate cities which are on the firing line. Astronomers are now monitoring hundreds of asteroids as they travel around and around and around in our solar system, which means that it is unlikely that a object large enough to cause an, ex quote, extinction level event would evade their attention. A NASA spokesman stated, as of December 24, there are 17,495 known near-Earth objects. There's, those are called NEOs around our planet. 17,389 of these are asteroids. This year we discovered 1,985 new near-Earth asteroids. And the question is, will uh, an asteroid or a meteor or many asteroids and many meteors or, or fireballs as they're often called strike planet Earth in 2018? Well, nobody knows for sure, obviously, but in the Bible, in the book of Luke, chapter 21, verses 25 to 28, Jesus Christ has given us a warning of future events which we should take seriously. Jesus said that there would be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars, and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them from fear and the expectation of those things which are coming upon the earth, for the powers of heaven will be shaken. And then, and here's what the future really holds, then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Now, when these things begin to happen, look up and lift up your heads because your redemption draws near. At Whitehorse Media, we firmly believe that the glorious day when Jesus Christ will return is truly drawing near. And we want to be ready, and we want you to be ready. I'll close this edition of World News in the Bible with these words of God recorded in Isaiah chapter 55, verses 6 and 7. These words are very relevant for us today. God says, the Bible says, Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. 
and let him return to the Lord and he will have mercy upon him and to our God for he will abundantly pardon. And that's good news for us today. So we wish you a blessed 2018 and an even better eternity with the one who loves us all, who died for all of our sins on a cruel cross and who rose from the dead. Happy New Year.